Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to enable console commands for the Binding of Isaac. It's really easy and it's how I make all my crazy videos with multiple copies. Basically you can spawn any item, you can go to any floor, you can do whatever you want with the game. So I'm going to be showing y'all how to do that right now. Alright, so you want to go to your file explorer, documents, my games. And then obviously Binding of Isaac Repentance. And then I have a lot of files here because I have a lot of mods. Sorry. <laughs> but I'm just going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Find Options. And this will open up this menu right here. And you want to make sure mods are enabled, obviously. Enable Debug Console. Right here. You want to go ahead and change that value to 1. So alter that. You have to delete it and then retype one and then file save. So I'm just gonna hop into a new run here and just show you a couple of things you can do. You wanna press the little tilde, which is like the little squiggly mark right under escape on the top left of your keyboard, and then you can just type whatever you want to do. So I'm going to do stage two and go to stage two. You can do G, forgive any item, and you can just, you know, write out the item name. So yeah, super easy. Um, so yeah, if you want to spawn an actual item pedestal, all you have to do is type spawn and then the item ID, which you can find on the wiki for any item, you just Google Isaac, whatever you want to look up, and then do spawn, and then you can get Sacred Hearts or any other item in the game. So yeah, that's pretty fun. This is how I do all my crazy synergy videos. Yeah, I've been really enjoying using this since I figured out how to do it, so um, if y'all start using it, let me know. Uh, let me know if there's any questions that you have. I'd be happy to help out. So open it up with the little squiggle, and then once you do whatever you're going to do, you can also repeat commands if you just use your keyboard. Um, pretty cool, multiple copies of brimstone actually gives you more brimstone. And then once you want to close it out, if you, you know, just type whatever, and if you want to close it out, just press escape, and then, you know, continue on with the run. But yeah, let me know what y'all think, um, if there's any other questions you have, uh, if y'all want me to do any more tutorials on anything, if y'all want me to do any more crazy videos <laughs> that you have ideas for, feel free to let me know. And I hope y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye.